everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Down of Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, guys, up to your fan for fantastic day of the most amazing Friday. Today we are lighting ourselves up perfectly for a raid. Actually, a little bit later, we are going to go redeem this floppiness, get ourselves some more C4 because we are in need of a restock to be at full raiding potential. But we got that raid cooking. But before we get to that raid, there's something pretty important that we got to get to. Boom! And that important thing is right here. That important thing is exactly what you guys are seeing. So this is actually some notes of some stuff that Cloud, one of uh, the members of Kafir, that is very active over in the official Last Down Earth Discord. But these are some notes from some of the stuff that he was actually saying one of the days. And actually a lot of notes that do relate with the future update. Specifically, one of the biggest updates that are lurking in the future. The ATV and the Swamp update. There's a good amount of info about this that I really thought we should go over and get to talking about in depth. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's dive in. So some of the notes that were being taken was that the ATV is actually ready and waiting they have already shown some models it will be released this year the swamp which is something that the atv is going to be coming with because the atv is going to open up access to a whole area across the river that i'll be showing y'all here in just a sec but the swamp is going to bring over new resources that is a little bit of joke apparently no shrek or whoever greg is is going to be at the farm so i can fear i'm just saying you guys should probably reconsider i think a shrek or at the very least donkey get out to me swamp donkey at least one of those two better be getting an easter egg in the swamp when that time does come but we can also see that the second watchtower will be working with the atv and the oak zones that we've seen across the river are actually gonna remain and not be turned into swamp zones there are not gonna be any bunkers for now over at the area that the atv does unlock the swamp will come and maybe caves or where you can get new ores so what this corresponds to is because actually when the motorcycle area was opened up north it did add more than just one zone it added in oak zones which is the main drop but then we also saw winter zones so the winter zones were where you got the new metal for the most part the oak zones were where you got the new wood so i'm guessing there's gonna be something similar going on with the atv and swamp when they are at least most likely in tandem since they do appear to be corresponding to each other in a large amount of ways the atv will be needed for the swamp the recipe might be changed the atv is going to be a single passenger vehicle unfortunately so it is not going to be a group vehicle it's not going to be something that can be driven with friends and there are no levels for the atv at the moment whatever that means i don't know if that means that maybe like level is in like leveling up the atv which seems kind of odd or maybe that means like you won't like there's going to be multiple levels of building like the atv in stages i'm not entirely sure what to make of that point but also there are not going to be any ATV patterns for now. So that is a lot of information. I just want to go ahead and actually correspond what is being said over there with what's going on over in the map because the zone that they're talking about, the river that they're talking about is actually the one that the farm kind of has a stream of branching off from. But this western area here, this is what the ATV is going to lock. We already pretty much have confirmation of that because it says transport is required. If you click on the transport, it literally takes you straight to the ATV and because there is a watchtower corresponding there. But what the game was saying is that this this area is actually going to be keeping the oak bushes slash oak biome slash areas that are present over here meaning that most likely what will be happening is once you do have the atv unlocked you will need to go ahead and get over this river now once you have the atv unlocked it appears you're going to be able to access these three points but there is still more to get because that's something we've seen with the watchtower because when you unlock the first watchtower that is when you get all the juice that is when you get the good stuff like the new oak zones like the new winter zones and also a random base oh, sorry about the burp there that is also chilling as well so it's not too out of the ordinary or it's not too out there to think that this one's going to work in a similar fashion so it's actually really cool that the atv update is looking like it's going to be expanding the map by a ton although the oka forests do seem a little bit repetitive i guess maybe if you get the atv done but you don't have the chopper which is probably going to be some kind of a possibility uh it appears that you'll be able to then go ahead and acquire oak from these areas as well could also consider like maybe a field trip so while you're going out over here to the left to go check out the new swamp biome potential cave biome you might also be able to hit up the oak zones on the way if you bring some hatchets collect some trees stuff like that but it appears that the watchtower is going to be adding in then swamp biomes over here in addition to potentially caves i'm guessing they might do something like that because with the last time we saw a huge map update like this this is why i'm super excited for the atv swamp update it is going to be one of the biggest updates out there kind of like 1.6 when it added in all of this this one looks like it's going to be adding even more due to the fact that these two are chilling here we're going to be getting the watchtower we can go to 
obviously the new swamp biomes and potentially the new cave biomes it's a ton of new biomes being added over here so it's crazy and awesome to see the map continuously expand of course you're gonna be seeing it expanding over in the sector but today i wanted to focus on the atv and swamp biome and whatnot it's still very cool stuff to be seeing and with those new swamp biomes like i am saying potential cave biomes we also have to keep in mind some of the new resources that are going to be added so the swamp biomes pretty much are already confirmed to be adding in this thing right here the ash plank however in the past when we have seen this update on the 1.6 we also had the metal accompanying it so there's a great chance that there might be those cave biomes they were talking about that might bring titanium bars along with them to be that next tier of resource since we are getting the next tier of wood and in the past when this has happened we have seen ourselves get the next tier of metal as well so i don't think it's too out there to potentially hope that we're going to be getting the titanium bar as well but there's going to be some way to get that during the swamp so there's going to be like they're saying some of those cave biomes a lot of that stuff tons of potential there and nonetheless tons of craziness coming with this atv and swamp update that i really really cannot wait for so that is some of the new information that i did want to go ahead and share with you guys about honestly the most hyped for update out there at least in my eyes currently that we are waiting for honestly a huge map expansion like this adding in the second vehicle to last day on earth all that jazz i think is really going to culminate into this being a very large update that i seriously can't wait to get my hands on i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this update as well what you think it's going to be bringing anything about the atv any of that type of jazz in that comment section down below and about a customer straight out of the way it's the week of 12 dollars and to such place store gift card give all you gotta do is always make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that if she went on today's video i'll go and enter it on every single last era video one set of rules around pick a random video from the past we pick a random cover for random video that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off the week of giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with every last era of the episode of chicken then go ahead and enter out in for the giveaway not to mention the latest of information like we are sharing today the latest of update gameplay as soon as that time comes not to mention other dope survival games all along the way as well but dude there is still awesome news to know that the atv is confirmed to be coming this year all this information about it honestly some of the recipes that it is going to be bringing because it should be bringing stuff like the third tier of armor right it should be bringing stuff like the next level of backpack that's why this is huge not just for the simple fact it's going to be adding in new zones and it's going to be adding in an atv but it is pretty much going to be the next stage of last day on earth if you think of a big picture the last time we got something like this was freaking 1.6 with a massive map expansion so i'm really really hyped for this and i hope that you guys are as well it's so, uh, dude, I don't know. I just can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about it for sure, for sure. But as you guys just saw, we took a peek at the bunker code. If you didn't get a chance to get it, 29858 is going to be the code for today. The raid is over here. Have got that raid in store for us. So let's just go ahead and do that. But like I said, before we head on to this raid, we do need to make a pit stop. And that's exactly what we're going to be very quickly doing. Not to mention getting ourselves all of the colorful picket crates. Getting sorry about the perp there all of their uh contents as well and then heading on over and getting the floppy disk so potentially you might walk out of here with like 5c4 or something and qlz your time on this earth is limited quite literally you have eight hours until you disappear off my vision of this earth so kind of technically speaking i am correct regardless of what happens but okay let's go ahead and hopefully c4 up and prepare for the contents of this raid and the juiciness that i hope it brings us but seriously man that atv out this is awesome dude because we haven't heard a lot of info about it in a while but the fact that we do now have a ton of information coming straight from kafir regarding us that is awesome it's got my hype trade levels chugging along a little bit harder than before and i seriously can't wait to unlock that and dude all the zones that it's gonna add i just love seeing the world map expand and hopefully there'll be some unique locations coming there as well they did confirm that there's not gonna be a bunker or anything but still man it's gonna be dope to be collecting stuff from there and honestly i wonder if the atv is gonna be able to bring home and haul home any special stuff since the chopper does have kind of like that little uh thing on the back of it i'm wondering if maybe there's gonna be some special boxes only the atv can bring since you know the atv is a little bit bigger it's a little bit more powerful way more horsepower and chugging power than this teensy eensy little chopper and probably a lot more space to store stuff so i'm really excited to see maybe if we can have the potential to be bringing stuff back from the swamp as well so there's a whole ton of stuff there for real man i am hype 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 for it but for now let's get hype 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 about this floppy disk with that magical a combination of numbers and if this code is out of date by the time that you are attempting to use it go ahead and check that comment section down below for an up-to-date sequence of numbers for that fan freaking size the community we call ours the snipe gang because we are filled with with super helpful people like that who love doing that and honestly without fail every comment section that i check we got an up-to-date code lurking in the depths and if you don't see it right there you can be the fan fantastic person that is a huge help to all of the snipe gang in that time of uh, digital need not like digital like like a digital clock but like digit like like a digit 
Like a number, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking clocks. I'm not a clockologist. What I am is a flopologist as we enter the floppy into the tactical terminal. And now we are not gonna be hunting the big one today because I really do wanna get my raid on. I am hype, hype, hype for hopefully a raid that we can do a little bit better than last time. Last time we got a little bit of a doozy of a raid. Could we have done better? Definitely, but you gotta admit that raid was kinda, it was one of the, ooh, pistol, thank you, thank you. But it was one of the tougher ones simply due to the fact that it had so many stone walls. And dude, I'm telling you that honeycomb at the end that we ran across seriously just kinda like dashed a lot of my hopes and dreams. But hopefully we can find new hopes and dreams today that were better than the old hopes and dreams or something motivational like that. Hey, collection of go 47. I could get behind that a little bit. Not to mention all the medical supplies and all that jazz. A little bit of aluminium. And I guess I could grab some nails, a couple other stuff. We still got the red ticket crate to open, which is going to be the best of them all. So let's bow down the fast bite of number one and number two. You never stood a chance, my friend, but this ticket crate never stood a chance with my grubby hands lurking in the shadows. What you got within your depths? Ooh, a couple of modified weapons with a barrel magazine and a hand. Ma Ooh, we actually got a silenced one. No C4 out of this crate, unfortunately. So that's a little bit poopy, but at the very least, we're still doing uh, doing pretty all right, if you ask me. Not to mention, we can collect more of that, get a little bit of that. Why don't we just hit that take? All so we can grab everything that we possibly can. We're up to 20 nails. We're going to be bringing a full stack of that back. We could always come back for the rest of this jazz, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with the stuff that we're going to probably end up walking out of here with, depending on where the floppy disk is. Maybe we make a pit stop by it anyway. Even if our inventory is full, there's always the chance that it is a, uh, not floppy box, what the, the, the infected box. That's the word that I'm looking for. There's always a chance that it is the infected box. So in that case, it makes sense to stop by and just toss it on the back of the chopper and drive a merry way back home. Except I'm not going to be merry because I'm going to have to find a way to reorganize my acid bath. Again, reminder, I have a, my, my acid bath is a glorified chest until the infected box comes across once in a blue moon. And today, the moon may indeed do be blue, blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was almost going to say the moon may indeed do be the moon but no it is the moon it might be blue today is what i was talking about so let's go ahead and make our way back home and god i wish we could be driving an atv right now for real man i i just can't wait to see what you guys gotta say seriously because the atv there's so much potential with it there's so much that it could bring not to mention all the recipes just any of your thoughts it doesn't have to be specifically about the atv just anything regarding the atv any of the recipes that it might bring with the swamp update i this is just seriously something that i think is going to be one of the biggest updates in quite a while to last day on earth we have confirmation of it coming this year like a new vehicle being added man we've had the chopper for close to a year at this point so to think that the time's finally coming for vehicle number two to be added that's gonna be a big milestone at, at least in my eyes maybe my eyes are wrong in which case like i'm saying let me know your guys' opinions and whatnot but uh, i want to be driving that atv and dude, there's a, there's a lot of potential things that could be bringing but for now the only potential thing i gotta be bringing is an empty inventory over to that loot location so we can hopefully get all the goods of that so excuse moi while i try and put some stuff away and okie dokie if you take a peek at our inventory it's looking pretty nice and clean and let's go ahead and get a little bit of jerky in that tummy tummy so we can bring our hunger back up to full because we we're about to get a little bit hungry i got a couple of things here just because i mean we are about to go and get this thing and usually Usually there isn't like a full inventory of stuff. So these are just a couple of things that I'm probably gonna be bringing along for the raid as well. So I just kind of wanted to leave them in the inventory and hand them ha and have them handy. Why is English a language that likes to evade my tongue? I don't know. You know what's better not be evading me when the time comes to ATV. Dude, I'm sorry, man. Just finally getting some more info about the ATV is Ah, it's gonna be jumping up and down in my chair. I hope you guys, I, I hope you can deal with the hype a little bit because you know I'm gonna be doing everything in my power to get that ATV ASAP and show off everything that this update does have to offer. But for real, dude, given the fact that, I mean, I, they don't necessarily say like in the thing that they were showing off earlier, they said the swamp will come and maybe caves or where you can get new ore. I'm pretty sure that means that there is gonna be a, the second location that does bring the new ore. But I think what they were trying to say is that it might be a cave or it might be something else because it's just makes too much sense dude if they're adding in the new type of wood might as well add the new type of ore and with that just the recipes is gonna bring like ah there's simply too much that can be said and that's why i'm really looking forward to what y'all got in that comment section i'm sorry if i'm saying that a lot dude but there's genuinely just a lot of hype because this atv thing is gonna be as nutty as can be also i should take a shower at some point i know you guys were yelling at me about the shower listen on one hand 
Showering is definitely a necessity, but I like I'm saying, man, more iconic duo than me and showering. Who knows? Also, after the raid, uh, hopefully we'll have one of these iron hatchets. I do need to make a pit stop over at the farm to get the secret room of that. But right now, cross your fingers. No whammy. Please don't be an infected box. I'm not looking forward to cleaning out the acid bath, man. That is a process and a half trying to find enough room for all that shit. Dang it, man. Ah, that's all right. It is something that we will need to do. We did bring the chopper as well, right? I, I really hope that we did bring the chop. We, we definitely did. We definitely did. There's no way that we did it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and haul this back. And, uh, well, the time has come for us to bring this puppy back home. And that means there's gonna be even more inventory management than I could have imagined. Honestly, dude, I think my mortal enemy is inventory management. At this point, me and inventory management do not get along. I mean, it doesn't help that our chests are all so full. It's just in pot. Like, it is, it is so hard to shuffle things in between chests when they're as full as ours are. And I'd love to keep on building more chests. But at this point, man, we can't even build any more small boxes we've maxed those out which means we have to resort to chests and honestly we're probably pretty close to maxing out the chest too and that means i mean we do have a solid steel stockpile so all in all i wouldn't be against using trunks but still dude having to invest steel into this stuff man steel is a valuable commodity but at the same time i feel like i might value it too much and i just don't use it freely enough to enjoy the benefits of it so it it might be time for like some chest expansion relatively soon maybe a new steel room over somewhere honestly like we got some building room around here we could just plop down a little two by two steel room with some stuff in it like we don't got to worry about that we definitely i actually don't know if we have the steel for that steel dude steel walls and fortifications are expensive to get built but all right so here comes the part that's going to be expensive on my mind inventory not inventory <laughs> organizing this type of jazz so uh brb and way longer than i care to admit later we have some room for this infected box over in the acid bath so let's do the only logical thing waddle our way over while this box literally fights back dude it's like the box doesn't want the acid it's like no star don't acid me and i'm like sorry box the three damage you chip away at me health it's not gonna be able to convince me otherwise now on the other hand if you would maybe offer me an atv yeah, this could be quite the negotiation, Mr. Box, but I don't believe that negotiation is going to be happening today. But, dude, ah, I just can't wait because, seriously, 1.6, at least back when I experienced 1.6, dude, that was one of the hypest updates just leading up to it and everything. And that's, I, like, I, I, I'm i sorry if I'm getting so hype over the ATV and Swamp, but genuinely, dude, I that is one of the most excited for updates. There's definitely still some pretty cool updates coming out. We, uh, before that should even be coming i think i'll take a double look at the roadmap and let y'all know next time and hopefully look into that a little bit more let's go baby we got that 2c4 lots of mention some engine parts for the road to some granata launcher pretty hard to go wrong with that and of course the piece of that resistance the two of that and some slightly better swat armor i could pop on although i it's not that big of a difference and it's probably not going to break during the raid so i'm not too worried i'm also putting some of the stuff back that i took out because again i do not have the room in my chest for all this stuff man the acid bath is like the pinnacle of chest look at how much room it has it does take up a two by two to be fair but uh, anyways with all that with some new c4 we got to go ahead and get the proper weaponry for such an occasion and the proper uh helping hands as well helping hands that like to chop down wooden things for example oh yeah and high explosives <laughs> and after acquiring some of those necessary items it is time for us to craft up those level one hatchets we're in need of we already got the c4 both between our inventory and in the chopper so we just got to go ahead and probably put the c4 in the chopper i'm coming ready Ready with 4c4 by the way because last time uh 4c4 could have potentially gotten us further but at the same time c4 makes a lot of noises it's a slippery slope moral of the story moral of this story is we need more hatchets okay never mind we need more inventory room first so i'm gonna put some of this stuff away mainly uh i mean we already had this one too so i'll probably put away two of these yeah, I think two of those should be okay. And then we can go ahead and craft up. I'm actually going to be bringing five iron hatchets this time around because I do want to make sure that I do everything in my power to have the extra ones. So we could pay a quick visit to the farm afterwards. But other than that, our inventory is looking pretty preparado. We do need to go and get a couple of silence weapons as well. But I should have a couple of those stashed up. Uh, just give me a check. And there she blows. We got one pistol that should be able to do some damage in addition to the silenced AK we're using over here. I think that's a pretty powerful one one two wombo combo punch but you know it's gonna be even more powerful than that guys and gals something that you guys have been asking for for a long time it's been a long time coming it's shower time baby i know i know we gotta stay clean well here you go all right 
Everyone likes to tell me how much I smell. Well, smell no longer. Honestly, though, knowing me, dude, I'm going to smell within like five minutes. Something about me. I'm telling you, man, me and smelling. No more of an iconic duo than that. But we got the necessary weaponry. Let's just go ahead and sauce out them empty water bottles and toss in some of the C4 because the time has come. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the long anticipated raid of today. So guy whose name was like three letters. I already forgot his name because it was just like three random letters. Oh, we got a chopper bed too. I'm tempted, but I know that that's just a trick by QLZ over here to distract me from him. Buy him time. Well, QLZ, it ain't going to be working. I'm running. I'm I'm, I'm driving my booty over to you right now and there ain't a thing that you can do about it. I'm coming with C4, I'm coming with hatchets, I'm coming with silenced weaponry, and most importantly of all, I'm coming for the loot that you got. So, as a wise giant head in the sky once said, show me what you got after this loading screen. What do you got? Come on, besides just open grass. Oh no, oh no, is this gonna be a small base? I'm not even seeing a base. Okay, I found the base part. It is indeed to a small base. So the good news on this is we're not gonna miss a lot. So that's good. It looks like he was actually in the middle of building up another area in addition to that, but it's looking like an all right area. I'm not seeing any stone within there. I am out seeing some spikes over there protecting stuff. I'm seeing his dead body, her dead body, the QLZ over there with a pair of shoes and all right, we gotta get to break it into. So the good news is, is that our C4 was not as necessary today. So that means we have four C4 for another day. We can't go wrong with that. But mainly that means, I mean, what I like to think is that we should be able to get everything from here and that nice little bonus at the end of the farm. So, okay, man, this has got some interesting stuff going on here in the base. Kind of like a miniature honeycomb with like these random rooms that I kind of feel like are gonna have loot within them. So. We might actually need to break into like a lot of these. Oh my God. Is that actually how he's doing it? Uh, I'm gonna break into a random one of these really quickly to see if so, we may need more level one hatchets because every one of these takes one level one hatchet to break into. No, of course we break into what appears to be the radio. So, okay, okay, you know what I'm seeing? You know what I'm feeling? The vibes I'm getting from this? It looks like he protected his workbenches but didn't protect his boxes. See, I don't trust that though. I feel like he's still gonna have boxes lying around somewhere in here. There's no way he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 different types of workbenches at this low level of a base or this early stage of a base, I should say. I don't know, man. I think that we should be pretty good to go. Uh, he does have a pretty big chest here. Let's start out with that and see if per snaps it might hold within it some weapons and stuff we could eat. Uh, no, but we do got our electronic circuit. So, I mean, that's the good thing. We got the electronic circuit out of this. Hopefully there's still engine parts and some stuff waiting for us. And hopefully the electronic circuit isn't the big ticket item at this raid. And hopefully this raid doesn't remind us that 1.8.6 made raids a lot more poopier because I don't know, dude, the game just like, you know what I think it does? The game has to give us a raid that has at least a certain level of loot in it, you know? I mean, back in the day, electronic circuits were a lot more valuable than they are now because now there's way more methods of getting them. They're way more common, right? So honestly, what I think has happened is that like the electronic circuit is still messing up the algorithm and then like they get this base because a lot of people got the like a free electronic circuit as well from the one year anniversary event. So I think that's still skewing it because a lot of like early level bases do have this within its grasps, which I mean, it's nice that we get a electronic circuit but it kind of sucks because you know most of the time we're only getting one electronic circuit and i mean it's definitely nice if you're looking for electronic circuits but i don't know man we're, we're kind of good on electronic circuits we got we got like i think two stacks back at home ever since our recycler's been going ham so it's nice but i i hope that there's more than that we also got some phones as well can't go wrong with that but hopefully we got a little bit more we got at least the FOMO chests we can break into so come on do me good okie dokie I can get behind and okay an engine part and one of those that's something I can get behind also it's no okay no miss no miss no miss just shoot just shoot shoot and juke because I gotta juke out all these zombies the damage they try to do to me the turn and burn tactics are also oh no I'm dying of thirst I brought water right I, I'm pretty sure I brought agua so I think that we should be good let's just finish off the little bogas and then finish Finish off with the slightly bigger bogars in the form of the floaters and the bloaters and the last of my water. Let's eat up that jerky to heal on up and get the hydration up a little bit in addition to the hunger up all the way. Probably gonna have to drop off that bottle somewhere because we can't throw things away. 
in the middle of the raid, unfortunately for us, but it ain't a big deal because bada boom, bada bing, go over there. I'm sorry, I'm littering. I'm littering in this guy's chest. I apologize, but we got a little bit of gas as well. Pretty hard to go wrong with that. At this point, I don't mind grabbing that. Technically speaking, like, I guess I could grab these and put them into, whatchamacallit, some saw blade mace mods. So, I mean, they, they're worth something at the very least for now. The camera's probably gonna be pretty good. So we gotta put the gas away into the chopper because we can not stockpile that over there. But I'm still holding out, crossing my fingers that hopefully we can get some weapons out of this raid because, ah, man, st still to, ooh, let's go ahead and toss that in there. And, hey, we got the two gas that we, we got two gas back that we pretty much just put into driving over here. And then worst case, we can walk back. No, we can't walk back. We're making a pit stop by the chopper. I forgot about that for a sec. So back on to breaking the chests. We go chest number three. What do you contain for me? Is it guns? Is it goods? Nah, it's grass and a single fur. Ooh, <laughs> I was hoping for something a little bit better than that, but all right. I can still roll with the punches. Gotta go with the flow, gotta flow with the go. And definitely could have been better. It's 43, really? Nothing's running at us? Maybe it's 44 where something spawns in and stuff. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like a solid number before 50 is usually when they start running in at us. I always thought that it was like the early 40s, but I guess it's the mid 40s. And there's definitely gonna be enemies coming our way now. So we got the Toxic Abomination. First things first, I wanna wait for these slower fellas to catch up to us, but yeah. Dude, I think 1.8.6 just spoiled me and now just in my eyes, man. Like, I mean, for the new norm of raids, this isn't an awful raid, just it compared to the history of raids, man. Just knowing what I knew about 1.8, 1.8.6 and before, it's just, it's unfortunate, but hey, you gotta roll with the punches, and right now those punches mean I'm getting an electronic circuit and engine parts, so I'll, I'll get behind it for now, but I can definitely get behind murdering myself a couple of them floater bloaters over here thinking they want to kill me. No, 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 you try to kill me, you die. That's what happens. I'm sorry. The game was rigged from the start, floater bloaters. You can't defeat me. Although you got pretty close. I have 110 health. And I'm down to 46. Maybe if y'all, maybe if everyone combined their powers and sucker punched me together, you could be more powerful, but yeah, not, not exactly super worried at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Oh, let's definitely hydrate all that we can. Get that up to 100. We, I mean, is there more valuable stuff we could grab than what we have right now? I guess I could get behind some nails. Not really interested in scrap or a couple of random ingots or anything like that. Definitely not too interested in grass or anything. Maybe the fur, but it is just one fur, dude. And honestly, from the last raid, we got like freaking five or six stacks of fur chilling at our base. So I'm looking pretty good there. I know we can bring these back and recycle them, but our recycler's pretty busy recycling weapons and stuff. I guess I could leave behind a USB drive because these do have a chance at giving us steel. And I guess the green tickets too. I'm not too interested in two green tickets. Red tickets is a different story. Red tickets are a bit more valuable, but I mean, come on, come on. Uh, I guess I could leave a little bit of that too and grab some ATV wheels in that case. And okie dokie, hunky dory, now comes the time. What do we break into? That appears to be either a campfire or something. I don't know. That's definitely not a chest in that area. Maybe we got a chest in here. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to start blowing through a solid amount of our iron hatches to get through this. Okay, so this is a iron workbench, not iron workbench. <laughs> it makes iron ingots. It's not a workbench. That's uh, that's a furnace. I'm guessing maybe these are all gonna be like workbenches and stuff. So maybe try to break up here. Maybe this upper section is where more chests are. Oh, it is where more chests are. Well, 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 would you look at this funny little thing that I have stumbled across? What do you can say? <gasps> Let's go, baby. That's what I like to see, Raid. I knew that there was no way those were all contained in boxes. And what do you know? My hunch was correct. Get it. I, maybe I was bagging on this raid a little bit early, man. I don't know, but I'm, I'm scarred. Ever since 1.8.6 came out, man, we've had too many disappointing raids. I thought there was just going to be another one, but no, no, no. Once you dig a little bit deeper, lads. Oh, it gets juicier than that. So hello, Shadow Rain, taking you home with me. Goodbye to the ATV wheels. You you will be loved. Definitely not forgotten, but whatevs. I can probably get rid of some of these things too. Uh, we got a stack of that. Yes, sir. Stack of band-aids. Eh, I have so many first aid kits at home. I'm going to just keep stockpiling first aid kits. Uh, other than that, I'm looking pretty good in terms of what we got from here. For now, I'll grab that hatchet and I'll just start using it to chop down some level one walls because we do have level one walls that do need to chop it. We got more chests that gotta get broken into, but let's go! 
this is what I've been needing, man. A little pick-me-up. Although the last raid definitely could have been a bigger pick-me-up, but still, you know, I'm not talking about like the last raid being a disappointment, right? I'm talking about the flat-out bases that are like three by three, couple chests, and literally the best thing is an electronic circuit or an engine part. This raid is no longer that. All right, we got multiple guns coming out of here as well. This is a raid I can get behind. And we still got a couple more chests that we got to look into before the conclusion of it. That's just a poop ton of resources. Let's kind of juke skis out of there real quick. Oh man, we're gonna have a lot of fast biters. Hopefully we can deal with the fast biters first before all the abominations catch up to us. Maybe we can even get them to hut themselves a little bit on. Ow, there's a spikes. So I'm actually hutting myself a little bit as well, but hey. Oh no, no, no. I definitely almost died there. Boop. You definitely did die over there, big guy. And let's finish all off with a little bit of the most marvelous weapon. Kalashnikov 47, mother of marvel of engineering. Pretty hard to hate, you know, but hey, it's okay because the toxic abominations, they're pretty big haters of it. You know why? Because it does stuff like this. Oh man, I was hoping maybe a body part would fly off. Unfortunately, that is something that only one thing does consistently. Well, maybe a couple. I think the VSS is all right. But you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about some glorified shotgun rain from back in the day. Back in the day. If that day could be today, but it's not modified. So we're going to save that up until we modify it. So we get the best usage out of it possible. Might as well pick up some planks, especially for wall repairs that are definitely going to be needed. We didn't get revenge rated, so we got to prepare for a revenge raid happening pretty soonish. We got to continue breaking through these things as well. Mm, how close are we to the big one spawning? I think we should be able to honestly break through every single chest, which is some pretty welcome news. It might be cutting it close, but nonetheless, okay, see, this is the type of chest. See, this chest kind of reminds me of this one chest he had over here. Yep, the one chest out here was a little bit, you know, slim pickings and stuff, right? Whereas uh, this chest over here, a little bit less slim. We got some duct tape we can bring home with us. We got... Honestly, one camera's not... Ah, dude, no. I gotta collect cameras, man. That's, like, one of the main ways of getting lenses. Even if it's one, a camera's a camera. I'm down on stockpiling that as much as possible. But, all right. Um, iron plates. I got a good amount of those back at home. I like the duct tape, though. I could definitely get behind that for now. But we still got one more chest that we gotta break into before we can call today a day. So, what is behind door number four? A big chest. And no worries about the big one popping up. Unless, for some reason, this chest made double noise. Which it didn't. But it did make some noise in terms of its loot. A little bit. I mean, it had a couple of roasted turkeys. I mean, if it had more, I would have taken them. But other than that... This looks like pretty generic type of food loot. So, I mean, there's definitely still some okay stuff here. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy with what I'm bringing home here. Although, was there any nails in this chest? I may have missed out on some. No, it wasn't nails. It was like nuts and stuff. Honestly, after the weapon update, I have been running a little bit low on bolts. So, I'll leave those two behind. And instead, I could get me behind a little bit of bolts. And honestly, that hatchet's about to break. So, we can put that away and pick up these instead. And... Mm -mm -mm. Other than that, I mean, anything else enticing, I, I wouldn't mind another stack of bolts, but I'm not interested in really getting rid of anything else for the most part. None of our weapons broke. Maybe we should have kept on using one instead of switching between them, but I don't know, I like a little bit of variety here and there between our Shooty McShoots. Uh, other than that, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident about this raid. I mean, we could break into one more thing. Even if one of these things do have a chest, like, I, I mean, the big one's gonna pop up. He's gonna start running after us. I've learned my lesson from being a little bit greedy way too often with these raids. But I do see a window there, so I want to check out this window. On the lickety split and she if meb meb yeah it's looking like a workbench i'm guessing those four are just gonna be a variety of different workbenches as were the random two that were open over there so all in all i'm pretty happy with how this raid went no complaints from me thank you raiding gods for turning this raid i was i was starting to question it i think the raiding heart blah, the raiding gods heard my questioning and uh thank you for responding positively instead of just throwing poop at my face like sometimes happens you know but there we have it a surprisingly solid raid it started out seemingly low potential but behind a couple of those little one by one wooden sections there was some nice stuff hidden and we still gotta remember there's some nice stuff hidden over at the farm we have yet to check out well do not worry boys do not worry girls that checking out is gonna be happening right here right now we got the iron hatchet to make it happen do we have the inventory room 
Eh, not necessarily, but I mean, we're already out and about. We're already over there. Might as well use a little bit of fuel, go over here. And I mean, if there's something really good, then we can definitely swap something out for it. And worst case, I mean, this farm still has a day until it respawns. So I can always just come back and grab it off the camera. But all right, we got to go ahead and make a dead sprint to the end. All the enemies have been cleared out, brought to you by the magic of, I don't know, shotgun rain was the magic used during the last farm, but or during the last run. But nonetheless, there was magic and there was a lot of killing, a lot of killing of my enemies, you know, uh, but over at the farm and we do still need to kill a couple of enemies here. So low key, why don't we swap things out? I don't want to use my silenced AK because I can't mod the silencer on yet. Why don't we swap out to a normal AK and we could swap out to a normal pistola because we're going to have a couple of enemies we got to deal with on the other sides of these walls as well. So firemen, let's get to chopping. Here's Johnny. Get over your rotten yokel little should I say dead yokel. Well, I guess he could still be rotten. He's rotten from how dead he is, you know, because at, at like dead bodies rot or something, right? I'm I don't know, I'm not a dead bodyologist, but you're a rotologist. I don't know which ologist it is that would, you know, be this jurisdiction, but whatever it is, I'm not sure. What I am sure, this has some potential for some good loot. No whammy, no whammy. Okay, 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 okay. I like that. I was trying to figure out if this was a good paint. I don't really think so. I think we have seen the nuclear pattern around a good amount. That's not like super rare. We got this thing that might be worth coming back for, but we still got box number two to go ahead and break into. So, Mr. Box, will you? Ooh, a little bit of glue. Definitely hard to be mad about that. So, hello, glue. I also have a little bit of meds, low key. Uh, we did use one during the raid, so I could just plop that over there. We got a camera we could definitely stack on up. And the question is, I think I'm gonna temporarily leave behind the hatchet and then we can come back for that because glue is something that I want to instantly grab and stockpile because glue is something that I definitely wish I had a bigger stockpile than I do have currently since it is pretty much it is very important in a lot of weapon mod recipes so any chance to stockpile glue I'm gonna go ahead and hop all over but with that said and with that done that's gonna start wrapping up for this episode of Let's Now to survive this and still hope that you guys did enjoy the bejesus but be be Jesus out of can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts on the ATV the swap update the recipes just anything having to do with that i'd love to hear any and all hypothesis you guys gotta say because i seriously think that this swamp atv update is gonna be one of the most hyped ones in a while and i cannot wait to be showing it off to all ye lads and lassies but without further ado that's gonna go ahead and start wrapping up for me but now best of luck to you guys and gals get in the chop and gas tank enjoyed it the chopper squadron best of luck breeding your pups getting the true friend perk leveling up your perks and skills over here not to mention getting the best weapon blueprints and building up the the best attachments that you can best of luck protecting your base and going out on raids that are hopefully just as good if not better than the one that we did encounter today especially for the fact we did not use any c4 which is awesome because that means we got some c4 to get to use and next time you know what i mean but best of luck with that best of luck taking out all the bosses the last that earth has to throw with us best of luck getting past the both to play a wall of most important of all best of luck and have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic day all throughout and all along the way but that's gonna do it for me Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to the next one. See ya.